Nathaniel Colors brings tremendous energy to his portrayal of a young Michael Jackson. He was born overseas, but spent most of his childhood in Texas. First, I was born in Japan, Okinawa, Japan. My dad was a Marine for 14 years. So we moved from Japan to North Carolina, but then I spent most of my upbringing in San Antonio, Texas. And I've lived in New York, I've lived in Las Vegas, LA, I've traveled a lot throughout my childhood. He's only 20 years old, but as a child, colors seemed to be destined for the stage. And he developed his love for music very early. I grew up in the church. So um, that's kind of how I got my start with singing. Um, as a kid, I was kind of nerdy, <laughs> kind of uh, reserved. I mean, I still think I am. I was very small natured, but um, I think once people saw that I had a talent for singing and dancing, it kind of pushed me out there. As a kid, I, I love to sing. I love to dance. Um, I love to write. I loved poetry, I loved reading. I was, I was very much a goody two-shoes <laughs> in that sense. And yeah, I, I, I grew up in the church, like I said, so I listened to my mom sing, I listened to the choir, and that's kind of how I got my start. He loves the audience, and even jumps off the stage during the show and gets them out of their seats. He got his first acting role at age six in a University of North Carolina Wilmington student film called The Red Cape. The filmmakers received critical acclaim for telling the story of the 1898 race massacre that took place in Wilmington. I was in a movie when I was six years old and that kind of introduced me into the industry of, uh, of acting and kind of got me interested in that. When he was in the sixth grade, Nathaniel Colors performed in his school's talent show and his aunt sent a copy of the video to the producers of Motown the Musical. He ended up getting a call to play young Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, and Barry Gordy on Broadway. Being a little kid in Texas, I always wanted to dance. I always wanted to do ballet and tap and do all of that stuff, but it just really wasn't the space for me to, you know, because of my upbringing, I should say. So going to New York and being around all of these amazing performers, and um, all these people who, are, who have studied and honed their craft and they really inspired me. It was just an amazing experience. It gave me the training, it gave me the whole New York experience. Um, I got a chance to travel, got a chance to perform and you know, I'm really grateful for it, honestly. Colors also appeared on the television program Little Big Shots with Steve Harvey. He credits his dad for introducing him to Michael Jackson's music, which eventually put him on the path as a headliner at Legends in Concert. I'm a youngin', so I really wasn't hip to that whole era, but my dad was a huge fan of his. So after his passing, you know, I just heard nothing but his music. You know, I started watching all of his videos, all of his past concerts, and that is what really developed my love for him um, and how he just how he works the stage, his electric energy, all of that. But um, as far as legends, this kind of fell into my lap, honestly. Um, I, had, I was 17 and they had said that they had seen me on Little Big Shots with Steve Harvey and that they wanted me to come out to Vegas, you know, to be a tribute artist for Michael Jackson. And I had never done that before. You know, Motown was a little bit different because, it, you know, you know it's a solidified role. I also played young Barry Gordy and young Stevie Wonder at the same time. so. For me to like actually have like a actual residency and have to have my own costumes, have to be on stage and learn choreo, but then also have to implement my own choreo in it, you know, that was a whole different experience. So I wasn't really necessarily looking for it, but I'm so grateful that it came. <laughs> Audiences can see Nathaniel Colors as young Michael Jackson, along with other tribute performances of Karen Carpenter, Elvis Presley, 
and Celine Dion at Legends in Concert OWA through January 2nd.